Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and today I got another Tinkercad project, but I want to play with Tinkercad circuits. When you click Tinkercad circuits, make sure you click the top where you can do create new circuit. Once it loads, let's change the name to RGB LED and then type Arduino after it. A-R-D-U-I-N-O. The first part we want to bring in is a breadboard. So click on that breadboard small. And then we're going to track down the Arduino. It is right down below it. You can click and it will show up as well. When you set that down, I want you to rotate it two clicks so it's vertical. Now let's scroll through the list and find our RGB LED. It is down near the bottom. When you click and bring it out, let's set it in 17, 18, 19, and 20. If you choose the same numbers as me, it just makes it more clear as we work through the project. Otherwise, it really doesn't matter. The ground on this RGB LED is the second one in. Please connect it to the ground on your Arduino. I like to make them black because that is how you typically designate a ground wire. The color of the wire doesn't affect it, but it does make it easier to read when you're trying to figure things out later. LEDs have a certain amount of current they can handle, so we need to protect them with a resistor. When you bring your resistor out, let's drop it in row 20, making sure that it crosses the edge of our breadboard. Currently, its resistance is 1 kilo ohm, which means 1,000 ohms. We need to switch it to just ohms, and then I want it to be 220 ohms for this project. Click on your sweet little resistor and do control C and control V to add one to the red leg and control V again to add one to the blue leg. To make this project come together, we need some awesome code. We want to find that by starting a new tab and then typing RGB code Arduino in a Google search engine. When you press enter, the first one you should see should be from Adafruit Lesson Free. When it appears, you'll see this code. We simply need to copy the code all the way to the bottom. When you get to the end of the parentheses, right click, do copy. And then we can continue in Tinkercad. Alrighty friends, so with that code copied from the web page, let me show you how to add it to our Arduino. Click the code button and it'll bring out the blocks editor. But we want to switch to just the text editor. Make sure you choose just the text and choose continue because that's what we want to build with. It has some built-in code that we're going to backspace over to delete and then you can right click and paste our magic code in. This code shows you that we have three pins, a red, a green, and a blue, and they're connected to 11, 10, and 9, right over here on the Arduino. This first pin is the red one, so grab one spot underneath the resistor, connect it to number 11, and then to make it clear, let's make that the red one. The next one over is the blue one, so connect it to number 9, and make it look blue. This doesn't change anything, it just makes it more clear as we work. And lastly, connect the last wire to number 10, and it really is the green of our RGB LED. At this point, your amazing circuit is built, and you will be able to hit play, and when you start the simulation, you will get to see something amazing. You can play with this loop to make it so that it has more colors, change your delays so that it happens faster, all kinds of things you can experiment with with your Arduino code RGB LED. So hey friends, come up with other stuff, turn it into a siren, see if you can make it look like a police car, ambulance, whatever you think of. Have a blast, explore, you can't break these because they're just Tinkercad circuits uh, and you can just undo if you do something bad. You know, if you're using a real one, you can break it and have to buy a new one. These, you just explore, learn, see what you can figure out. If you're in my class, make sure you turn in a screenshot of one of the colors. If, if you're on the internet and you're doing this, maybe you can just share with us at HLMontech on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter and let us know that you had a good time using the lesson.
If you enjoyed the project, friends, please hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.